So in case of C2 V point group, the requirement is there must be C2 principal axis and two sigma V planes which are passing through the principal axis and example of this C2V point group is water and sulfur dioxide. Now next example of CNV point group is C3V point group. In case of C3V point group, molecule must contain C3 principal axis and there are three vertical planes, three sigma V planes. So if this condition is fulfilled, then the point group of that molecule will be C3V. And one more thing is there must uh, horizontal plane must be absent. Order of group, it is equal to six. As per this formula, va uh, value of n is three, and therefore h is equal to two into three, that is equal to six. It means in this point group, there are six elements or six different operations. Examples are uh, trigonal pyramidal molecules like ammonia, uh, then phosphine. So these are the examples of C3 V point groups. Then C infinity V point group. C infinity V means the molecule must contain uh, C infinity principal axis and there are infinity number of sigma V planes which must be passing through this C infinity axis. Order of the group as per this formula it comes infinity and the examples are linear molecules that is hydrogen chloride hydrogen cyanide especially heteronuclear diatomic molecules like HCl HBr HF these molecules uh, belong to C infinity V type of point group now first example that is C2V point group in water so water belong to C2V point group other examples are sulfur dioxide ortho di substituted benzene that is ortho dichlorobenzene ortho difluorobenzene ortho uh, dibromobenzene like that so ortho di substituted benzene this is the example of C2V point group so especially in water molecule there is a C2 principal axis and there are two vertical planes which are right angle to each other and these two planes these are passing through C2 principal axis as n is even so this value of n it is even and therefore there is one sigma v type of plane and other is sigma v prime or sigma v dash plane and these two planes are right angle to each other so as i explained earlier when n is even half of the planes are sigma v type and remaining half planes are sigma v dash type and the these two planes are right angle to each other so here n is equal to 2 it means there are two vertical planes one is sigma v type and other is sigma v dash type so this is the structure of water it is angular molecule hydrogen oxygen and hydrogen these three atoms are oriented along the same plane and uh, uh, it is an angular molecule so there are two hydrogen atoms which are same but in order to recognize these two different hydrogen atoms they are marked as A and B so these are the three axes this is Z axis this is X axis and this is the Y axis these three axes right angle to each other now imagine the line passing through this or parallel to 
this z axis and passing through center of oxygen and this is the c2 principal axis because along this axis when molecule is rotated through 180 degree then hydrogen a will exchange with hydrogen b so it rotation if it is completed uh, through 180 degree then this hydrogen a will take position of b and this b it will shift to left side and it will take position of a so it is like this so after 180 degree centigrade uh, degree not centigrade 180 degree this molecule will rotate like this and we get a equivalent structure so this is c21 operation now after c22 operation that is second operation this ha it will again come back to its original position and b will take its initial position that is c22 operation that is equal to identity identity because uh, resulting structure is same or identical as that of the initial structure so this is the c22 operation so ha and hb again these are at the same position that earlier and this is the identical structure so after second rotation we get identical structure and therefore this is the c2 axis so in water molecule there is one c2 axis and one of the condition of c2v point group is there must be c2 principal axis and it is there in water molecule now next condition is there must be two vertical planes this 2v stands for two vertical planes and you know that vertical planes these are passing through principal axis now consider this first plane it is passing through this vertical axis or principal axis and when molecule is reflected with this plane hydrogen a will come to the right side and b will go to the left side and we get a equivalent structure like this so this is the first sigma v plane after second reflection again we get the identical structure so this is the first vertical plane which is oriented along the y z plane okay now consider another plane that is sigma v dash it is oriented along the x z x z plane okay and with this plane when molecule is reflected their positions will remain the same atom uh, position of oxygen hydrogen hydrogen both the hydrogen atoms will not change and we get a identical structure actually the second plane, plane that is sigma v prime it is right angle to the sigma v plane so in this way in water molecule there is one c2 axis and two vertical planes and therefore it belong to c2 v type of point group now h is equal to 2n this is the uh, order of group now value of n is 2 so 2 into 2 that is equal to 4 and the operations are or elements are c2 that is c21 that is first operation then uh, actually c22 is a identity c22 it is identity this is second element or operation sigma v and sigma v prime so in this way there are four symmetry operations or symmetry elements and the, the next example of cnv point group that is the c3v point group in ammonia so not only in ammonia but in a uh, <coughs> pyramidal molecules trigonal pyramidal molecules like ammonia phosphine arsenic hydride the point group is c3v in ammonia molecule you know that there is a c3 principal axis and there are three vertical planes now each of the vertical plane passing through c3 principal axis as well as this plane bisect molecule into two halves which are mirror images of each other now in c3v point group 
n is odd and therefore all the planes are of same kind that is sigma v sigma v sigma v prime or dash that plane is not there so this is the structure of ammonia it is a, a trigonal pyramidal and now at the top of <coughs> this ammonia there is a lone pair of electron it is not shown here and at the base of pyramid there are three hydrogen atoms a b and c so this is trigonal pyramidal molecule again three hydrogen atoms are basically same but in order to recognize they are marked as a b and c now consider this axis this is the c3 principal axis along this axis when molecule is rotated through 120 degree we get equivalent structure for example uh, suppose molecule is rotated through 120 degree this ha will take position of hc hc will take position of hb and hb will take position of ha like this so this is the first operation c31 c31 so after c31 operation we get equivalent structure now c32 operation that is after again 120 degree rotation now hb will take position of ha ha will take position of hc hc will take position of hb it is like this so this is c32 operation and c33 means the third uh, rotation through 120 degree now ha will take position of hc like this so c33 means identity we get identical structure so these are the three rot rotations through 120 degree and hence this is the c3 principal axis now consider one plane which is passing through this principal axis and it is also passing through nitrogen and hydrogen b now it bisect molecule into two halves now ha will reflect and it will shift to the right side hc will shift to the left side so there is an exchange between ha and hc like this okay so this is equivalent structure and therefore this is the vertical plane again after second reflection they will get gets exchanged now consider another plane which is actually uh, the initial plane was passing through or first plane was passing through nitrogen and hb now consider second plane which is passing through nitrogen and hydrogen a hydrogen a again when molecule is reflected with this plane there is a exchange between hc and hb like this and this is second vertical plane now third vertical plane it will pass through nitrogen and hydrogen c and it is also passing through the c3 principal axis this is the plane and when molecule is reflected with this plane then it, there is will be exchange between hp and ha like this so in this way there is one uh, principal axis that is c3 and there are three vertical planes sigma v sigma v prime and sigma v double prime and therefore this molecule belongs to c3v point group now just we calculate the order of group h is equal to 2n now value of n is 3 and therefore 2 into 3 that is equal to 6 and and the elements are c31 c32 now c33 is a identity and there are three vertical planes that is sigma v prime sigma v and sigma v double prime so in this way there are six symmetry elements or operations and this is what is c3 viewpoint group and in this way we discussed about the uh, three examples of uh, cn viewpoint group that is cn 
वे पॉइंट ग्रुप स्पेशल सॉरी 